With all these games taking place, what is it like for an athletic director to have to balance the schedules, the facilities, and not to mention their own workday? Well, let's find out in this feature presented by Edward Medical Group. It has been absolutely crazy, and our staff has been running and uh, is dragging a little bit right now this time of year. 2021 seems to be making up for the lack of activity in 2020 in a pretty big way, especially if you ask those in charge of scheduling, hosting, attending, and cheering for their school's teams. You know, it's one thing, and, it, you know, you're busy, and you get to as many events as you can get to, and, but when you have the responsibility to host that event, um, things are a little bit more difficult and uh, just a little more taxing. Um, my staff has been terrific. My athletic training staff, my event management staff, my assistant ADs and event managers, uh, they've been running around like crazy. Uh, you know, I think one really good example was on... Not only are there 10 sports currently in progress, playoffs have begun for most of those. Oh plus some other wrenches. Not only are we, you know, trying to fit in lacrosse and uh, boys and girls lacrosse and boys and girls track and field and girls soccer into the stadium, but now we also have and lose the stadium for about, you know, four days or so to our commencement and other celebratory things that we do for our seniors. Now, what makes 2021 such a time-consuming brew? Well, out of necessity to try and maximize the calendar by the IHSA. The IHSA has moved away. You know, obviously all of the COVID protocols have put us in a scenario where we've stacked uh, seasons up and the stacked seasons upon or sports upon each other. Um, so you have uh, sports that are finishing at the same time that might not have finished at the same time or might be going now um, where they weren't before. So while Bob Quinn and his fellow athletic directors will have a reprieve soon, the coming weeks will contain about as much chaos as they've ever experienced, likely most they ever will.